Oh man, I'm excited to record today. Welcome back to Let's Play Night of Ratatosk. This time we're aiming straight for the finale, people. But first, a skit. It's been quite a while. Yes, this is where our last journey began. Really? Yeah, it's where I received the Oracle and set out to regenerate the world. A lot happened. It's not like all that much time has gone by. But somehow, it seems like it all happened so long ago. It's sort of a strange feeling. Huh? I... I thought I'd never forgive the Chosen and her companions for causing the giant tree to lose control. But now I find myself traveling with those very people. I'm sorry. Don't apologize. I was the one who didn't understand. A Chosen has her own life to live. You have a past and a present. You didn't just appear out of nowhere to kill Mom. We all play the starring roles in our own stories. When those other than ourselves appear on stage, we tend to view them only as minor characters. But in the end, it doesn't work that way. Realizing that may be the first step towards becoming an adult. Exactly. Now I put all these blocks down uh, beforehand so we can get a miracle gel and holy symbol run away. Yep, we're heading straight for the finale, so I'm going to try and make this four episodes in one session so I can make the finale right, the 100th go. episode. I think that'd be cool. But that's only if I can get past all the cutscenes and everything as fast as possible. Now, I'm not going to try and rush it because then I don't it'll feel like half-assed, but I do want to do it as fast as I can without rushing it, so... That's good. That's how it's gonna go. But yeah, it's just like Final Fantasy X, except for we all have our own stories. Yay! And that was referring to the skit. <laughs> okay, come on. Will you die? Thank you. You picked the wrong guy to mess with. Okay. And the seal is weakening. Now we must run back. So yeah, I didn't know if you leave a room, all the blocks reset. That was my downfall in the last recording. Also, let's go this way. It'll take like five seconds. There's one item over here. Just thought I would grab. Oh. Oh yeah, it's going to show that being torn down. Thanks, game. Oops. Sorry, I just got an email. I was just looking at it. Special gel. That is, um... Let me think. Uh, really good gel. <laughs> I'll just say that. It's a really good gel. Run! Oh my god. Now we just gotta book it back and we'll be hanging straight to various. And then after that, well, I'm not... I don't quite remember what is after that. I think we gotta head to somewhere. Marta, what's wrong? You haven't been acting like yourself. I want to say something that you're probably not going to like. What? I... I don't want you to go away. I mean it. But if your personality stays, that means Ratatosk will disappear, right? <laughs> Ratatosk saved me just like you did. Yeah. Lloyd said that every single person is important because we're all different. So, what about Ratatosk? You are very important to me, but I don't want Ratatosk to disappear either. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I'm being awful. I know telling you this is only going to give you more things to worry about. No, not at all. I've been thinking about the same thing, too. Hey, you two, try to keep up. We're coming. Marta, I'll figure something out. So don't worry, okay? Okay. It's impossible, isn't it? We can't say both of them. It's one or the other. Hmm. Well, we'll have to find out. Maybe if we talk to Various about it. Oh, come on. Thank you. Two Emils. Let's grab this chest first. All Divine. That's rare. 
like that bird. Hmm. I think I'm gonna run away. Don't let up. <laughs> Not really up for fighting in this session just because, you know, I don't... I want to get this in a reasonable time in four episodes. I don't want to make four 20-minute episodes because that would be pushing it. Is that skit gonna show up again? Ooh, save point. Two Emils. Hey now, Marta, my sweet. You look as though you've put your foot in your mouth and didn't much care for the taste. Leave me alone, Zealous. You took a question you haven't even answered for yourself and piled it on Emil's shoulders. But you knew you were doing it as you did it, and you regret it. Am I wrong? What do you mean? What question? I mean the one that goes, let's see now, which Emil do I like the best? Y you're wrong! I... Both the meals are important to me. After all, they're both... They're both a meal. You're not mistaken there. That's why it's hurting you so much. But... Then what should I have done? I knew what I was saying was unfair, but I couldn't stand to have the other Emil just disappear. If that's really what you think, you should stand by it. What? If that's your true feeling, then be straight with it. Don't say things to Emil that you'll only regret as soon as they leave your lips. He's got more to deal with than any of us. If you honestly don't want to lose any part of him, then you did the right thing in saying so. <laughs> Zealous. Both personalities are Emil. It's only natural for you to fall in love with both. They're the same person. All that's left is to believe in him and wait. Right. Thank you. <laughs> Guess Zellos can say some awesome things every now and then. So how do we summon Various? Various is the summon spirit of Heart. I'm sure it won't be much longer before he arrives. You called, Sheena? See the appearance? It's just like in that bonus episode I showed. Corinne! So you're the summon spirit of Heart. Ratatosk. No, Emil. I see your heart is a very sad color right now. You are... conflicted. I... A pact with me is something made in the heart. Once your heart has made its decision, Emil, I will give you my help. So please, give careful thought to how it is you wish to live. What do you mean, Various? I will protect Emil's heart in the manner it desires. However, he is still undecided as to what he wishes to do. He needs time. That's true. It's hard to make a decision like that about yourself so suddenly. I shall appear and lend you my power when you wish me to. Let us meet again, when you have come to a decision. I'm sorry to have dragged you all the way out here. Don't worry about that. You're the only one who can solve the problems inside you. We'll wait for your decision. Thank you. Hmm. I guess he's not ready yet. Well, let's go. I guess it stopped. Still, something feels very uneasy now. It's as if something dark and ominous is about to approach us. Emil, what's the matter? <laughs> this awareness is... The door to the Ginunga Gap is about to open! No! 
I thought the door would stay closed as long as Ratatosk is alive. The Vanguard. That's what Richter was using them for. Stop it! Stay away from that door! Don't touch it without my permission! Leo! Lord Ratatosk is holding back the demons trying to enter. If only he had all the Centurions under his will and regained his full power, this would never have happened. Emil, is there anything we can do? Yes, actually, there is. What? What are you doing? Lumen, obey me. Help me. Help me. Ratatosk. All right. Seize Lady Marta. What about the rest of the city? I say we should take whatever we can. What are you doing? What did you do to Paul Macosta? It's Lloyd Irving. Stop! Marta, I, I guess that, I guess that I really am Ratatosk. Emil! Lloyd, I'm so sorry. I took Lumen's core from you, and that wasn't right. I just betrayed your trust. No. You came back to us. You haven't betrayed me at all. Anyway, this is no place to have a long discussion. Why don't we go back to town? Yes. And we obtain Lumen. Looks like the memories are starting to finally come back. Lloyd was at the scene. And Ratatos was pretty much made there. Whoa. So I guess it all makes sense that way. Really, Ratatos did nothing to save Marta. 
Lloyd did. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But, let's go. What do you think you're doing? You ain't entering the church. That's my dad's voice. Ah, oh, what a trivial battle. Is it really needed? Freaking Dirk could handle it on his own. Fine. We'll take care of it, because Dirk can't. God damn it. How dare you make Jenny and Fish do this? This battle is just a joke. It's just a normal battle. Should be no problem at all. There you go. Not very hard. Not bad, am I? Dad, are you hurt? I'm fine. If us dwarves are anything, we're tough, that's for sure. Dirk, tell us what happened. I guess you felt that earthquake, right? Well, a whole mess of monsters started flooding into town right after that. The earthquake must have been caused by the negative energy emanating from Nivelheim through the opening in the door of the Genungagap. But wait, why did the door open up in the first place? I thought it couldn't be opened while Ratatosk was still alive. Indeed, but Lord Ratatosk has lost some of his centurions, so his power has diminished accordingly. In addition, the Vanguard has been spreading the type of negative energy the demons love. The violence around the world. Correct. The scent of blood has loosened the restraints on the door. This must have been Richter's intent from the beginning. For now, Lord Ratatosk is just barely managing to hold the door closed. But if the situation does not improve, the monsters will break their bonds with the Centurions, and this world will become one with Nivelheim. Yes. What Tenebrae said is true. The only way left is for me to regain my power and to seal the door. Emil. No, I mean, Ratatosk. Is that the reason why you attacked Lloyd and took Lumen's core What's wrong him? with me taking back what's rightfully mine? If you're gonna get in my way, then I won't hesitate to defeat you all! 